Hello to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. if you are new. And if you are not, welcome back and thank you so much for the continued support. I have so much gratitude towards you guys who have been liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. So I was actually just about to sit down and record a video on gossip, but I noticed the comment. It was a request for a video on messages for your future self. So that is what I'm going to be recording today because it was requested. So uh, whoever commented that, boo, this is for you. I have three candles in front of me. Pile number one is going to be to your left and pile number three is going to be to your right. If you have any other videos that you would like to see, you can go ahead and drop it in the comments down below and I will get those up for you guys. But other than that, I will see you guys at the timestamps. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is going to be your reading on messages from your future self. All right, so you guys chose this like pink fuchsia colored candle. We're going to go ahead and jump right in with some tarot cards. Messages from pile number one to future self. We have the Chariot, the Knave of Wands in reverse, and then we also have the Three of Wands in reverse. Bottom of the deck energy is we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. So what your future self wants you to know, pile number one, is do you remember the times in the past where you weren't feeling so confident? where you were giving up on things easily and acting impulsively when things weren't really working out for you and you felt in a really really vulnerable state well with the chariot card here being the only major arcana card that you have your future self wants you to know that you have moved forward from this you've being you've moved forward from um, a lack of self-confidence and just really caring caring what other people think about you is what I am hearing all right you have broken those toxic relationships with people who have been in and out of your life especially if it's someone in particular who didn't have your best interest at heart you gained the strength power number one to move forward from that situation Let's go ahead and grab some clarifiers for my pile number one on messages from their future self. We have the Empress, which is beautiful. So pile number one, you move forward into this abundant, beautiful Empress. She embodies all four of the Queens. You definitely don't have to be a woman if um, you are watching this, but this is just basically saying that you have taken your power back and all of the things that you used to worry about here with this Knave of Wands in reverse that wasn't working out for you, you've moved forward from that into a very very abundant time in your life here with this empress card you don't want for anything is what your future self is telling me all right we have the justice card in reverse so and you see how this empress is looking at this justice card in reverse you have moved forward from anything or anybody that has done you wrong pal number three I'm sorry, pal number one. <laughs> um, so if you're currently in a situation with a romantic partner or a family member or a friend or somebody who is not doing you right, you have gained the strength and the confidence to move forward from that situation and balance everything out. Let's see, we have the nine of coins in reverse bottom of the deck energy we have the knave of cups so yeah you guys could be right now at a point in your life where you feel like everything is kind of upside down maybe you're not feeling really secure in yourself or your circumstances around you but your future self wants you to know that it 
gets better, okay? And if specifically this is a love interest for some of you because I'm just picking up that energy, your future self wants you to know that not only do you have a new romantic partner coming in with this knave of cups, but this is gonna be a destined partner who you are meant to be with the, with the Wheel of Fortune card right underneath. Okay, so whatever you are going through right now, pile number one, not to worry because your future self know, your future self wants you to know that you have what it takes to get through it and you are going to be very, very abundant and well taken care of here with this Empress card. Let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards to elaborate. messages from uh, the future self of pile number one we have a fiery climax approaches so your future self wants you to prepare yourself for big change here pile number one and it's going to be change in a positive way all right you might sit and think why is this happening to me but it's all for your highest and greatest good is what i'm hearing your future self wants you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable pile number one messages from pal number one's future self we have you are good enough and i was definitely feeling that when i was talking about a little bit of lack of confidence in this pile your future self wants you to know that you are good enough and you have always been good enough and your future self has figured that out as time has gone on so you have nothing to worry about pile number one because you are going to be figuring that out very soon that you are good enough and you don't have to take this injustice in your life that is happening to you bottom of the deck we have the end of a tough cycle approaches so whatever you guys are going through right now, pal number one, is just temporary and it's all to set you up for bigger and better abundant things. Let's go ahead and continue messages from my pal number one's future self. We have healing energy. So your future self wants you to know, pal number one, that you have healed from all of the past trauma, from whatever this person has done for you, regardless if they have cheated on you, if they were in and out of your life, um, if they just have left you out in the cold and they weren't there for you, you have healed from all of this past trauma in the future and you are very emotionally stable. You are very abundant and you are very beautiful, kind of in your element in the future, pal, number one. We also have trust the universe. So definitely have trust and faith that everything that is happening for you or around you is for a purpose. And it might seem a little bit uncomfortable right now, pal number one, but your future self wants you to know that you are going to get through it. You're going to per persevere with this chariot card over here and you are going to be led to victory. Bottom of the deck, we have signs and reminders. So whenever you're feeling down, pal number one, just go ahead and remind yourself that you have a destiny here, okay? You have a destiny and you are meant for so much more. L look for the signs and synchronicities that your spirit guides and your ancestors whatever you resonate with are sending to you because there is something that you are meant to do here on this planet pal number one and your future self wants you to know that you guys are going to be really embodying that in the future so i have some self-care cards here and i want to see the type of energy that you are going to be in in the future here let's see messages from a future self of pal number one we have connect with the earth so your future self wants you to know that if you are feeling a little ungrounded kind of spacey or just like you are 
not handling your emotions well, go ahead and connect with the earth and connect with nature. And that is really my vibe because whenever I am feeling a little out of my element pal, number one, I go right to the park, right to the woods, right to nature, go hug a tree. I know it might seem a little uncomfortable at first because other people might be looking at you, but I'm telling you, it definitely helps. So go ahead and connect with the earth pal, number one, to ground yourself. And I feel like your future self, wherever you guys are living in the future, is very, very beautiful. I feel like it's in nature here, pal number one. So you guys could already be really, really involved with nature. You could like nature if you chose this pile. But I just feel like you guys are just going to be in your element here. Well, this girl she just has her eyes closed and she is just feeling the nature spirit so and for some of you your spirit guides connect with you through nature all right so messages from pile number one's future self all right we have intuition all right so definitely trust your intuition pal number one and i feel like in the future your future self trust their intuition and it has led them to victory with this chariot card here with this empress card here so this is saying that you have all of the answers inside you you just need to trust your intuition more and that is going to lead you to a victory here all right, let's go ahead and get some more Oracle cards from messages from, from pile number one's future self. We have the fates. All right, <laughs> do you remember when I was saying that you guys incarnated on this planet for a reason? You have a destiny. You have a faded life partner. You have a faded mission on this planet that you are supposed to take care of, pal number one. And I'm getting the intuitive hint that it involves more than just you. Okay, whatever divine mission that you are here to do is going to be helping a lot of people. So as you heal yourself, you are going to be helping a lot of people heal as well and waking people up, I'm hearing, and to teach them a better way of living. But first, your future self wants you to... You know, get your emotions and your confidence under control because you are going to need it later on in life for the type of things that you are going to be doing here, pal number one. And we also have a leg up. So nothing to worry about, pal number one. You are going to have a leg up in life in the future is what your future self wants you to know. You're not going to have to worry about anything. So if you're worried about money, if you're worried about your living situation, if you are worried about your environment with this Empress card here, your future self wants you to know that you are taken care of. So go with the flow and don't make it as hard um, as you guys are making it if you are overthinking. Bottom of the deck we have imagine so definitely get into some scripting some daydreaming you know put on some headphones listen to some music and fantasize about the life that you want pal number one because it is attainable for you and your future self definitely wants you to know that i feel like with this pile your future self is really saying, do you remember when you used to walk on eggshells around people? Do you remember when you cared what other people thought about you? I feel like your future self is in an energy where they don't really care about what other people have to say about them. They don't care about um, if, you know, being judged by other people. All right, we have You've Got Time. So no need to rush, pal, number one. I feel like with people who have like big life missions or big life purposes as this pile, you kind of feel like rush, right? You feel like you need to be doing something. You feel like you need to be taking steps towards your goal or whatever because time is going to run out. But this is letting you know that you have time, pal, number one, and that anything that is meant for you will not miss you. You just have to align with it. And your future self has all already done that oh I just got chills your future self has already done that so there is nothing for you to worry about we have 
it's not as if you need anyone pile number one so if you are entertaining somebody in your life if you feel codependent if you're feeling a little bit insecure your future self wants you to know that you don't need anyone and you don't need anybody else's validation because you are the full package okay and you will have figured that out in the future is that you don't need anyone and it doesn't mean that you are going to you know block everyone out or be an introvert or you know something like that but this is just saying that all of the validation and the encouragement that you need is within yourself here pile number one let's see messages from pile number one's future self all right we have main male all right so I feel like a lot of you who chose this pile have a destined partner that you are supposed to be with that may have something to do with your destiny or your journey. Maybe this is something that you are not going to be doing alone, but to go ahead and meet this person, you definitely have to release what does not serve you if you are entertaining what does not serve you. But also with this main male card, pile number one, this is just saying that you are the main person person in your life. I feel like with this pal, you definitely have conquered self-confidence and self-love in the future and just really living your best life, you know, like not really giving a fuck about what anybody has to say or what anybody is thinking about you. And then we have toil and labor. So you guys are definitely working hard to ascend and to reach a higher vib vibration and then the last card that we have is gift and because of all of the toil and labor that you are going through power number one you are going to be gifted something magnificent by the universe so your future self wants you to know that you have absolutely nothing to worry about and that is beautiful I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Hopefully you resonated with it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has picked pile number two. This is going to be your reading on messages from your future self. You guys chose the white tea light candle. I'm going to go ahead and pop it over here. And we'll get right into it with some tarot cards let's go ahead and give it a shuffle because i feel like it needs a shuffle i don't know why i insist on struggle shuffling with my nails but whatever <laughs> we're just gonna go with it all right messages from pile number two's future self spirit please tap me into the energy of pile number two's future self what messages do they have for him today so we have temperance beautiful start pile number two let's go ahead and get all of the cards out on the table all right we have the four of wands in reverse messages for pile number two from their future self all right we have the nine of coins all right we have the two of swords we have the eight of swords And then we have the strength card, beautiful pile number two. Bottom of the deck is we have the moon. Okay, pile number two. So what your future self wants you to know is that in the future, you have found balance. And I feel like with this pile, this is something that you are not necessarily seeing right now here with this moon card. And it could be balance in anything in your life. But if you feel like you have an issue with moderation when it comes to substances or something like that, your future self wants you to know that you have balanced out those extremes in life here with this four of wands in reverse. You guys seem to be really thinking heavily on it here with this eight of swords but your future self is letting you know that to find a balance and whatever extremes that you are partaking in in your life is this just all in your head okay the fear here is all in your head and your future self has figured that out pal number two 
and your future self has made a decision here with the two of swords in reverse to find balance and move forward and then it's leading you to this nine of coins here all right this abundance this uh independence here so it could be moderation like i said from substances it could be moderation from a person from bad habits from anything but your future self wants to know that even though you don't see it, you have the strength inside to move forward you have the strength inside you pile number two to make the decision to balance out your life and your future self has found stability your future self has really found peace i'm hearing inner peace within themselves i'm gonna go ahead and grab some oracle cards messages from pile number one's future self we have a fiery climax approaches this actually pops out in pile number one but this is just letting you know that things are about to hit the fan in your life pile number two and it is supposed to be happening that way to restore balance in your life i am hearing that if you guys stray off path your spiritual team is basically going to be redirecting you to the correct path and that might result in like a tower moment or a fiery climax or something like that but it is all just to get you right back on track pile number two all right we have your hard work is paying off and a new start is coming so your future self wants you to know that the seeds that you are planting right now are going to be harvest in the future okay you're going to be able to reap the benefits of the things that you are putting in such hard work for now pile number two and this is going to be contributing to this new start this new life and then we have it's time to release negativity at the bottom of the deck so your future self wants you to release the negative self-talk i'm hearing and the bad thinking and thinking that there is no way that you are going to make it through this there is no way that you are going to overcome whatever situation that you are in now because your future self has already done it okay like they've already been there done that let's see messages from pile number two's future self what do they want them to know for pile number two all right we have expect miracles pile number two so if you are having feeling down in the dumps maybe that you okay so i'm hearing specifically in some in this pile that somebody could be having some sort of like addiction okay and it doesn't necessarily have to be an addiction like i said to substance abuse it could be like an addiction to a person or an addiction to a bad habit and you feel like you are not going to be overcoming this but pile number two definitely expect miracles because your future self has already figured it out so don't get down on yourself and just know that even though you don't see a light at the end of the tunnel and this is being hidden from you that you are going to overcome this pile number two all right we have opportunity and change so pile number two you are going to be having an opportunity to make a change in your life a change in your lifestyle and i feel like it's going to be a miracle it's going to come out of nowhere and then you are going to take it pile number two and this is going to be the start of your new beginning here with the new start is coming messages from the future self of those who chose pile number two we have honesty and communication so your future self wants you to know that to overcome these obstacles you definitely have to be honest with yourself and if you need to ask for help pile number two there is nothing wrong with needing to ask for help of those around you even if it's not family or friend family and friends if you need a specific support group or something like that that open honesty and communication is what is going to be leading you out of the hard times that you are currently going through 
and then at the bottom of the deck we have inner child healing so pile number two you may have to do some inner child healing you may have some trauma that is contributing to the bad habits or things that are um, affecting you in your life right now so your future self wants you to know that in the future you have had self-acceptance and you have healed your inner child and that has really helped you to overcome the obstacles that you are going through right now in your life pile number two let's go ahead and grab some oracle cards let's see how your future self is living okay let's see what type of energy that they are embodying for my pile number two messages from their future self for my pal number two all right we have make an altar so pal number two your future self wants you to know that you are taking your spirituality and your spiritual practice way more seriously in the future you have engulfed yourself in it if you guys don't have an altar right now in the future you definitely will and this might be the spark that makes you go ahead and make an altar for yourself and make an altar for your guides if you guys are into like ancestor worship or anything like that uh, we also have a journal so your future self wants you to know to write down your wishes write down what you want script because that is going to be able to help you make your wishes into a reality pile number two some of you guys could be writers here too i feel like with this pile you might write about like your life experiences and your future self wants you to know that you're going to write about your life experiences and how you overcame all of these obstacles and you are going to be a light to other people pile number two bottom of the deck we have spend time with animals so if you guys have any pets or you're thinking about getting any pets your future self wants you to know that in the future you are either going to have pets or you're going to be spending a lot of time with animals or this might help you get through whatever you're going through right now pile number two like a emotional support animal or just like whatever you need your future self wants you to know that that is totally okay all right messages for my pile number two from their future self messages from my pal number two's future self all right we have co-create so pal number two your future self wants you to know that as you take your spiritual practice practice more seriously and you are aligning with your higher self that you are going to be co-creating the life that you want to live with the universe okay and it is going to be a very balanced life okay something with equal give and take if some of you guys are in relationships that are not equal give and take or you feel like you're giving your time and your energy to like i said a substance or just a bad habit that you feel has like you know overcome you your future self wants you to know that that is no longer going to be a problem in your life we also have come to the edge and soulmates your future self wants you to know that it is going to be okay for you to take risks it's okay for you to take a leap of faith and because this is going to work out for you i feel, feel like your future self has already taken this leap of faith with come to the edge here and it has worked out for them so if you're thinking about taking a leap of faith of any type pal number two this is your confirmation from your future self to go for it okay and then we also have soulmates here so your future self wants you to know that you have a loving relationship that is on the horizon for you if you guys are single or unhappy in your current relationship your future self wants you to know that you have a destined partner out there that is going to make you very very happy pal number two so if you're in a situation where you feel like you are not happy your future self wants you to know that that is going to be a thing of the past all right messages from pal number two's future self messages from pal number two's future self we have 
things are about to get really juicy all right pal number two so things are about to turn up okay in your life and just know that it is for the better and then we have you'll find what you seek so pile number two, just know that whatever you are looking for is looking for you too, okay? You don't have to be, and look at the bottom of the deck. This is not even supposed to be in this deck, but I'm gonna have to put it back in the regular deck, but this came out for a reason. We have seeker, thirst for wisdom and truth, wherever they are. And it's so funny because it says you'll find what you seek. So pile number two <laughs> this card wasn't even supposed to be in here so this is just extra confirmation to let you know that you know your journey and your spiritual path is not going to be in vain and everything that you are looking for everything that you desire pile number two your future self wants you to go for it okay come to the edge take that leap of faith because whatever you are trying to accomplish all right is you're going to find it and you're going to accomplish it so whether that, like I said, is overcoming any addic addictions or toxic behaviors or leaving out of, you know, a relationship or, you know, things that do not serve you. Your future self wants you to know that you are taken care of and it is up to you to create the life that you want for yourself, pal number two. All right, pal number two, messages from their future self. We have journey. <laughs> yeah, y'all need to take a leap of faith. Some of you could be trying to move somewhere else, trying to start like a new career or just doing something out of the ordinary. And your future self wants you to know to go ahead and take that risk, pile number two. We have poverty. So pile number two, you have not had it easy or right now you might not be having it easy and your future self is letting you know that as you come to the ed edge and take this leap of faith, although you might be scared because things have not worked for you, uh, worked out for you in the past or if you've come from poverty or something like that, that you are going to be leaving out of this energy. <laughs> and then we have marriage. Yeah, your future self wants you to know that there is a marriage on the horizon rising for you it is written like you have like a person out there that you are going to be with so if you guys were thinking about that or if you had any questions on if you're gonna like find your soulmate or get married you guys have up oh, and it feel right over soulmates actually so it's just like don't give up on love and don't give up on yourself pal number two because you are going to be just fine all you have to do is believe in yourself and come to the edge take that leap of faith take that journey because your future self wants you to know that you are strong enough and this is working out for you so i'm going to leave you guys with that thank you so much for letting me read for you today hopefully you resonated with this reading don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number three. This is going to be your message from your future self. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop this candle over here. You guys chose the red tea light candle. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right. <laughs> we have the king of cups so right off the bat, pile number three. Okay messages from pile number three's future self we have the ace of swords messages from pile number three's future self we have the moon let's go ahead and get everything out on the table messages from pile number three's future self we have the Five of Wands in reverse. The Two of Swords in reverse. And we have the World card in reverse. Bottom of the deck energy is the Ace of Wands. All right, pile number three, message from your future self. Okay, this pile has left out of conflict i'm hearing all right 
so this file could definitely be going through a hard time right now especially with the world card in reverse i feel like you guys are with this world card in reverse right now i feel like you guys are kind of just doing whatever to kind of make things work you're kind of like you know trying a little bit of this trying a little bit of that trying to like grasp something you really don't know exactly you know the path or you could be feeling really really confused at this time so you could be trying a bunch of different things uh, especially with the ace of wands here to figure out what is going to be working for you pal number three but your future self wants you to know that you are going to be gaining clarity on this situation with this ace of swords but i feel like here it's a decision that you have to make i feel like the answer is within you maybe you need to do like some meditation or something pal number three but something is going to click for you here all right with this ace of wands there's going to be a new opportunity that comes in or something that you figure out here in this pile that is going to kind of catapult you into you know becoming your future self with the five of wands in reverse here um you're going to be leaving out of a period of conflict to become this king of cups type of energy all right this really nurturing type of like self-confident energy and i feel like you are going to know where and who to give your time to here with the king of cups and you are going to be gaining emotional stability here, pile number three. I'm being called to pull two more cards for this pile. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But right now, I feel like this pile could be at a period of there a, a period of your life where you're really confused and you're just trying to try a bunch of things, like I said, to make it work. Okay, maybe a bunch of new talents, a bunch of new jobs, just kind of like dibbling and like dabbling and things that you think might work for you. But I feel like clarity is going to come your way. You are going to find your niche here, pal number three, is what your future self wants you to know. So if you've been feeling really confused about your life purpose and your life path or what you are to this earth to do i feel like your future self has finally found clarity on that and they are living in their authenticity they are living in their truth pal number three all right we have the four of swords and then we have the five of swords interesting bottom of the deck is we have the devil so yeah your future self definitely decides to make a decision to cut out things in their life that no longer serves them here with this devil card coming up and this four of swords you take a break from the things that are not making you happy the things that are causing you inner conflict and i feel like you kind of hone in on your gifts or what you really want to do i feel like with this pile you could be pursuing maybe like a career or doing like doing different ventures that maybe other people around you want you to do maybe this is something that your parents have wanted you to commit to and that it's really not your passion and so you kind of realize that and you kind of want to figure out you know what makes you happy here but i feel like your future self wants you to know that you are going to be breaking these toxic ties here with the devil and you are going to be studying something different here with the knave of coins in reverse studying something that is better suited to what you actually want to do with your life pal number three all right let's go ahead and get you some oracle cards messages from my pile number three's future self all right we have don't let pride get in your way so yeah pile number three i was definitely feeling that don't let what other people want you to do regardless if they are friends or family members or 
um, you know, people who have portrayed their goals on you. Like, let's say you have like a mother or father who wants you to be a doctor, but you really want to be an artist. This is saying go for what you want and don't let the pride of letting anybody else down get in your way, pal number three. We have nothing is yet set in stone. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I feel like this pal, y'all could be like in the middle of like a degree or something. You could definitely be in school. You could definitely be studying something that is really not your passion and you're contemplating like quitting. Your future self wants you to know that it is always okay to start over. It is never too late, especially if you are not happy in the profession that you have gotten your degree in. If some of you have already graduated or something like that it's never too late to uh, you know switch it up all right this is your movie this is your life so don't be afraid to hit them with a plot twist okay like fuck what everybody else thinks this is your life so you have to do what's best for you pal number three we also have a new start is coming. So yeah, definitely. And then look, bottom of the deck, prosperity lies ahead. So don't be hesitant to switch a career if you need to. Switch a major if you need to, okay? Because your future self is wanting you to follow your dreams, pal number three. And I feel like your future self has made a decision to really listen to your intuition and listen to what you want versus what somebody else wants you know what whoever this devil card is whoever is keeping you in this state of confinement you know these shackles and you know doing what doesn't necessarily make you happy your future self really wants you to go for it and go for the things that make you happy pal number three let's go ahead and continue too many messages from pile number three's future self messages from pile number three and their future self all right we have romance and connection so if some of you guys are single out there your future self wants you to know that you have romance in your future we have clear, cancel, and release. So your future self definitely wants you to release the negative thoughts, the toxic connections, the toxic people, anybody who you have like an issue with, go ahead and clear that out of your mind, clear that out of your head and really do what you want to do, pal number three, because this is your life, not anyone else's. And then you guys have blessings and abundance and this is follow, uh, falling under right under a new start is coming. So you don't have to be afraid to, like I said, switch majors, switch careers, switch relationships because your new start, you have nothing but blessings and abundance heading your way, pal number three, okay? Bottom of the deck, energy. We have guardian angel. You are being watched over by your spiritual team okay they have your back so go ahead and take that risk because they will never let you fall okay <laughs> you are being protected and i think that's what your future self wants you to know is that they went ahead and they have taken that risk and that it has working out for the, it, it it's worked out for them sorry i'm feeling like i can't even talk in this pile so i apologize for that but whatever leap of faith you're thinking about taking power number three your future self wants you to know that it it is working out for you here with blessings and abundance all right what energy is the future self of my pile number three in we have flow like water your future self is really going with the flow here your future self isn't worrying about anything your future self is really trusting the universe trusting their spirit guides and just trusting that everything is falling into place and with flow like water mm -hmm, she is swimming right now so your future self seems pretty abundant y'all might be traveling in the future maybe you know that is your dream you want to travel the world and your family wants you to stay in one specific place or do this one specific thing and your future self wants you to know to go for it okay it really doesn't matter what anybody else wants pal number three we have connect with your ancestors 
So future, your future self wants you to know that your ancestors definitely have your back. And I feel like you guys are going to be connecting with them more in the future. So if you're not doing that already, definitely reach out and connect with your ancestors. Make an altar, make an offering, and really get in tune with your spiritual team, pile number three. And then we also have rest. So yeah, your future self, I feel like is going to be so abundant that you are going to have a period of rest, a period of time where you could just have fun, okay? With this pile, like I was said, I feel like you guys are really putting your energy into a lot of things, trying to figure out what's for you, what's not, or you could be going towards like maybe like a degree or a profession that you really don't want to in this pile. Um, but I feel like in the future, you are going to have time to just take a break and enjoy a life and enjoy the like fruit of your labor, pile number three. Messages from pile number three's future self. messages from pile number three's future self let's see we have community so pile number three in the future i feel like you're going to have a community around you who definitely supports you especially like i said if some of you guys are in like families who want you to do a certain thing and maybe like if you don't do that you'll disappoint the people around you or your family around you or something like that and your future self wants you to know that you are going to find your soul tribe and a community of like-minded people who are going to support you we also have to be fair so your future self wants you to know that you are going to be able to find balance in your life okay and the skills are going to be balancing out for you you're going to receive justice bottom of the deck we have a leg up so your future self wants you to know that you're going to be receiving a leg up so definitely don't get down on yourselves pile number three take that leap go for what you want to go for and just know that you are being divinely guided to do so and this is for your own happiness all right we have love is never in vain so do what you love all right it doesn't matter you know i feel like with this pile it may be like a profession that's going to make you a lot of money but you hate it right or something that is logical but it's not something that resonates with your soul purpose or something that you really want to do this is saying that go for what you love because as long as you love it and you're enjoying yourself it is never in vain pile number three we also have sometimes the good is hidden so even if things are not going well in your life right now you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel there's a surprise factor for you here pile number three and your future self wants you to know that also um, that even though your logical brain can't comprehend, you know, how this is going to be working out for you, right? Let's say you want to go and do something that's like not conventional and you have played it over and over a million times in your head and you always come to the same conclusion that this is not going to work out for you or maybe this is like a one in a million chance type of thing your future self wants you to know that you are one in a million okay sometimes the good is hidden sometimes it's a surprise and that you can do anything that you put your mind to pile number three bottom of the deck we have you needn't worry okay so this is already letting you know that you are taken care of in this pile all right, let's go ahead and pop these back in the deck. Messages from pile number three's future self. All right, we have child. So some of you are going to be having children in the future. So if that's something that you want that you don't have now, that's definitely coming for you. But I feel like this pile, like I said, they have an idea. They have something that they want to go for that is not conventional. And this is letting you know to go ahead and birth that idea because it is going to lead you to prosperity, pile number three. We have main male. So some of you could either be getting married or meeting a new romantic partner or just i feel like with this pile you're really putting yourself in your uh, aspirations first over anybody else and what anybody else 
over any over what anybody else wants from you pile number three and i don't know why i am like stuttering so much in this pile maybe you guys feel like you can't speak your truth to those who are around you um but I feel like in the future, your future self wants you to know that you're going to be the main person in your life. And then we have Coffin here. So yeah, you guys are going to be making some sort of endings here that are going to be leading you to this new start and leading you to prosperity. So whatever ties that you have to sever pal number three to make sure that you follow your dreams and that you are abundant, go ahead and do that. Bottom of the deck, we have mature woman. So like I said, it could be like some parents or something, uh, some family that is like um, kind of forcing you to do something that you don't want to do just uh this just lets you know power number three that you have a choice to follow your dreams or in the future i feel like you guys are going to be this mature woman and you are going to have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and clarity on the things that have happened to you in your life and the reason that things had to play out the way that it did power number three but go ahead and do what's best for you regardless of what anybody has to say about it pal number three i feel like is the biggest message so i'm gonna leave you guys with that hopefully you resonated with this reading don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time mm -hmm.